Hello, my name is David and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to show your desk.com cases within the Salesforce layouts of both the account and the contact layouts. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is go to the admin panel, which is where we are right now. And then from here we're going to click on cases and then we're going to click on rules. And then the first place to go is the inbound rule or inbound interaction rule. So that's where we are right now. I'm going to scroll till I see the create case in Salesforce. I'm going to turn that on and I'm going to change the position of that to number one and I'm going to click on save. Then the next place I'm going to go is case updated. And then I'm going to scroll down and then I'm going to see the update case in Salesforce and I'm going to turn that on. And again, I'm going to change position of that to number one. And now if you are using Chatter uh, within your Salesforce org, you can turn that on if you'd like. I'm not using Chatter right now, so I'm just going to leave that off. Now let's flip over to Salesforce. So here I am in the contact layout of Salesforce. And you need to be a full admin in order to see some of these uh, options that we're going to be using. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the layout of my contacts. And then I'm going to click on related lists here in the control panel. And it scrolls me down to the related list section. And then I'm going to drag the desktop.com cases related list into the related list section. And then let go. And that's all there is to it. Then I'm going to click on save in the control panel. And I'm going to click on yes. The next place I'm going to go is my accounts. So I'm just going to click on the account name. And come on, Salesforce, let me go. There we go. And then I'm going to edit the layout. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to click on related lists. And then I'm going to drag the desktop.com cases into the related list section. And click on save. And I click on yes. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is I want to actually test this out. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my contact layout. So I'm going to scroll down to my contact section. You can see here's the desktop.com cases uh, related list. I'm going to grab the, uh, I'm just going to use the happy AE users, my test uh, instance. I'm going to open up my uh, desktop.com portal. So I'm just going to go to the portal and then I'm going to click on the email us uh, link that pulls up my uh, contact form. And I'm just going to uh, enter some dummy information here. I'm just going to say David. And then the email address, I'm going to grab the email address from that contact. I'm going to copy. I'm just going to paste it in there. I'm going to click on yes. I'm going to click on testing. I'm going to just write anything in the mess in the body. Blah. And then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to hit submit. And I'm going to hit send email. And now I'm going to check to see if that agent and there it is right there we're testing here and I'm going to check the case, the case timeline it tells you everything that's happening in the case and you can see our rule ran create case in Salesforce and then update case in Salesforce so now I'm going to go back to the uh, contact layout and I'm just going to refresh the page here okay as you can see in the shortcut we have now one case in the desktop.com cases and there it is our testing and if you click on that and drill down, you'll see the uh, email, the case thread as it should be and all the details of the case. And that's all there is to it. It's that simple. So I hope you, uh, you enjoyed this and please let us know if you have any questions. Thank you very much.